Hope you guys are having fun in the sun, or maybe it's raining where you're at. Thank you to everybody that's here in this in the chat early. Rocking it. I love that. Happy Sunday. Let's see here. Let's get my little monitor set up. Got Jason Brown, Monster 38, Monster Racing 38, Big Reds in the house. Thank you guys for being here. D2, John Evans, a Therapeutic Edge. What's happening? Therapeutic Edge, another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Thank you so, so very much. Got this rolling now. Like that. Smash that like button. Oh my gosh, we don't even have anything on the table. What in the world is happening here? We need to celebrate. Get some stuff out there. What's up, Paul? What's up, Nebucloud? One Minute Knife Reviews, Form D Productions. Let's get some knives out there, man. Eggs and hams here. Who else we got here jumping in? David Iverson, what's up? All members of Zach's Daily Carry Crew, thank you so much. Hey, what's up, Jay Libercon? Women carry knives in the house. Another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Thanks for being here. Rodney Pearson, what's up, buddy? Fresh off of Blade Show. How'd you do? How'd you do? Did you get what you're looking for? That is awesome stuff. Lion Knives is here. What's happening? Michael Morgan. Leo Carpenter. What's up, Manny Z? Another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew, along with Grateful Panic Knife Reviews. What's happening? Andrew Arnold. At least one of those objects is a knife. That is true. We do have one object that is a knife on the table. <laughs> and this one right here, right? Ah, shout out Ranger. Shout out to Big Red. What's up, Brian? What's happening? Just that beautiful design. This would look good like in a frame <laughs> break in case of emergency what's up pro x 1840 what's happening yeah yeah oh there's a link right there you can join zach's daily carry crew you get exclusive content you get custom emojis uh and the support of the channel is fantastic so i appreciate everyone who's a member i appreciate everyone who's here supporting uh of course as always, we'll have a, a fun giveaway today and a couple announcements on some upcoming giveaways as well. Uh, we're partnering up with uh, another channel, an Instagram channel, to do a fun uh, outdoor giveaway. So that'll be fun. Um, we got some cool swag today that came in. KJ Pearson, what's happening? Uncle Cow, what's going down? Form D. Love it. So, those of you who went to Blade Show, what did you pick up? What did you see that you loved? Because I saw some really cool stuff, especially from like our friends at like ProTech, our friends uh, TRM. Uh, just watched a live stream with Big Brown Bear and Stasa Twenty Three a few minutes ago. We had. Uh, the T he won the titanium TRM shadow on the lottery. Oh, Rodney Pearson, man. Thanks for the support, buddy. Let's show Rodney some love. Thank you so much, my friend. What's up, Dane? Let's give a little shout out to Rodney Pearson. Don C is also in the house. I want to know Rodney. What'd you get, buddy? I want to, I want to know that. What's up, Dan Brock. Sorry to bump the camera there. I had to plug her, plug her in a little bit. Feed a little juice. Got to run that power cord to you. I think I need to move my power cord and move it to the other side now that it's out of the way. Or make sure it's out of the way. <laughs> Ethan Ruins EDC. Let's see here. We had some stuff here a second ago from Dan Brock. What did Dan say? Dan said the, okay, the Cold Steel uh, 20.5. The Hogue Show Special, which was the uh, the Deca and Carbon Fiber, and the Neutron Two, those are those are all fantastic. 
Yeah, dude, Uncle Cal won the giveaway over on Big Red's channel. That was pretty awesome, man. KJ says, TRM doesn't make knives, they make hype. Really? See, I like I like the Atom. I like the Neutron 2 even better. So I'm excited to try out a Shadow. So one day I'll get one. One day I'll get one. Manny says he's buffering. Hopefully he's not buffering on this end. We'll put the hand in there to make sure. I'm doing okay on this end. Monster Racing 38. Doing good, man. Uh, oh, I got to send you a message back today. I have a question, but I think I found uh, what we're looking for when we were talking about the other day. Ethan Ruins EDC is here. Nick Martino. What's up, buddy? What's going on? Good to see you here. Yeah, heck yeah. Hashtag DSKFS. Do something kind for someone. Well, hopefully you guys aren't buffering anymore, Jason. Everything seems to be going good over here. I'm all plugged in. I'm like as close as I can be to my router. <laughs> What's up, John R? What's going down, buddy? The Lawn Ranger. What's up, buddy? Always great entertainment for your Sunday cook. Man, I, I'll tell you what. That Sunday cooking you're doing is delicious because, or looks delicious, I should say. Haven't tried it yet, but I still need to make a trip out there to try it because, man, you're tearing it up with that stuff. Always making some good looking stuff on there. Let's see here. Who else joined in? Yeah, Monster. Yeah, Road to 10K. Heck yeah. We're coming up on 9,000 subscribers. It's going to be fun. We may do a small giveaway for that. You know me like to give back a little bit. What's up, Emma? Welcome, welcome. Do, do, do. Okay. So, what else do we got here? Oh, I got to put this stuff off to the side. That's, that's, that's for later. That's some good stuff. So, as you guys know, I was hoping, because they went in the mail, but not until Friday. This is the Benchmade Mini Freak. Looks a little different because it's got the Rogue Blade Works G10 scales on it. Had those on there for a while. Uh, picked this up from uh, another YouTuber when he did some sales. You guys know I have the Jade ones as well. And I'm still trying to talk Rogue into making me a set of those blue G10 ones. And I still have that <laughs> that uh, freak, that mini freak torn apart waiting for him. So one day, one day I'll get those blue G10 scales and we'll have a little matching set. Or we'll do a flip-flop. But, you know, I got to get, get them to match that mini Crooked River, right? So... Unless Benchmade does it first. Oh, Jason, thanks, buddy. Let's show Jason some love. Says, keep the donation train going. Thank you, Jason, uh, Jason so very much. The donation train is running. Running on the tracks. Well, we're going to put this beautiful knife off to the side. Uh, big, big Red. Oh, Big Red. Thanks, buddy. Oh, man. Let's show some love for Big Red. Thank you so much, my friend. Got those red Zach Stuffs logos just for you. Thinking of a grip and AWT scale, says Tariq. Yeah, those AWT scales are uh, pretty solid. Pretty solid scales. I like those aluminum ones. I'm looking at ordering a blue G10 one right now. I'm trying to save up my money to get a blue G10 to match this, uh, this setup I have going with the Mini Crooked River and some of the other blue knives I have from Benchmade. Cause you can buy them in the custom shop, so that's what I'm that's what I'm putting together right now. Is trying to make one of those that, you know, be a little more fun for me, a little matchy matchy. Maybe I'll uh, sell some of the other ones I have to pay for it. That's probably what I need to do. That's probably what I need to do. <laughs> yeah, thank you guys so much for the donations. Hey, OCD 3DC, what's up, buddy? BJ is driving me to the airport right now. What's up? So huge shout out to OCD 3DC. Huge shout out to Blade, uh, to BJ there, BJ Hill. They're uh, wrapping up Blade Show. Blade Show's over. So sad. But, man, you guys put out some content. I know there's more coming up. I'm excited to see what you guys picked up, kind of listen to what you guys have. Oh, man. And, and it just makes me more excited for Blade Show West. You know, my, my bag's almost packed. I got all the reservations made. We have some uh, good people going down. It'll be fun. Yeah, right, Planes Crafter? <laughs> welcome, buddy. Welcome, welcome. Another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. 
And uh, yeah, and also welcome to Ryan Gilbert and Daniel 2. Daniel 2 says, are there custom scales to the 945 Osborne anywhere? Yes, I've seen two people offer them so far. And that is uh, Rock Scale Design and Rogue Blade Works, throwing some titanium ones out there. So the titanium ones for the 945 from Rogue Blade Works, um, he said they shipped out yesterday. So I'm hoping they come in Monday. If they do come in Monday, we'll probably do a live Monday um, or at least a video Monday and show you guys those scales and get them installed on it. So, but I don't want to interfere with anybody else's live. So I know there's a couple people that go live on Monday night. So maybe Titanium Tuesday. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to mess with uh, with Casey or with uh, Ray. You know, got to show some respect for sure. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Oh, I can change the scales, the red, white, and blue one? Yeah, for sure, Manny. Yeah, definitely. Um, let's see here. We have a knife that's been sent in from the Wii Knife Company, and this one's the Thug. Now, we're going to take a look at this one just really quick. It came in uh, for review, and one of the things I've noticed, which is kind of cool, the new Wii Knife um, pouches here, these bags, these are actually embroidered now. They're not silk screened anymore, even on the back where it has their website. So I like that upgrade. I really like these knife pouches. So being embroidered, just going to last you that much longer. So kind of cool. You get some little stickers, as always. Get their little Wii Knife sticker. Yeah, that's pretty good stuff. But this one's the Thug, and I really... I have to tell you, I was kind of shocked by this one. Oh, what's up? The donation train is rolling. Oh, Form D Productions. Thanks, buddy. And there's a link right there for OCD for EDC. Man, I miss those comments. Form D Productions, let's show a little love. Do something kind for someone. Thank you so much, my friend. Top Dog says, donation train? Okay, but here's an odd amount just to make interesting for Zach's accountant. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Let's show a little love for Form D. And of course, of course, Top Dog 8762. Thank you guys so very much. Yeah. Choo choo. We'll have to get a little uh, train horn. But yeah, this is that kind of marbled carbon fiber. I mean, look at the brushwork on that. It's pretty sweet. Now, this one's kind of a stout little one. I like the look, I like the size of it. I can get just about four fingers on here if I'm gripped up pretty tight. But the thing I noticed right away, I have to tell you guys, I, I do like the blade as well. They kind of have that brushed streaking to all of it. What's up, Todd Carr? Welcome, welcome. Paper Tiger's here. Andrew Halbert's here. Those guys remember the Zach's Day the Carry Crew as well. Thank you guys for being here. But I will say this. If I do get those titanium scales Monday, um, those of you in Zach's Day of the Carry Crew, you're going to get a video for that. So I can at least publish that and not uh, interfere with anybody else. It fires out amazing. It's a great frame lock here, the Wee Thug. You know, kind of has that attitude being a short little stocky knife. Oh, you got the upshot, Rodney? Very nice. But I will say this. This is the first thing that ramp on the clip right there is pointy it's pointy so i mean you can kind of see it either way that's the only that's the only thing but yeah i like the blade shape that's awesome oh david h says i was representing zach stuff at blade show had your patch displayed proudly proudly in my backpack right on man that's cool thank you so much for doing that that is really, really cool. Uh, I Love Knives says, looks nicely finished. Yeah, I mean, overall, Wee Knife is doing great on their products. Oh, you like it, Nick? Yeah, I just don't know on that clip. So I'm going to use it. I'm going to carry it this week. I'm going to give you that full review and let you know how it impacts. It kind of goes away from, you know, it, it fits right in there. So it doesn't like pop right in on like my knuckle 
or anything on the inside. So, all right, Tariq, thanks for being here, buddy. I appreciate you being here. Get some rest. I know it's nighttime over there. I appreciate you staying up for us. It was great to see you in the chat. Thanks for being here. Thanks again for that sweet knife roll. I've been carrying it to work all week, showing everybody my uh, my fun new uh, blades. That's really cool. Oh, yeah, and there's the link right there from Big Red for the Wee Knife Thug. They do have two styles right now. I think they're just about to come out. So J Michael's like, I'm trying to think of a good thug joke. Uh, let's see. Looking at a pair of three, do you have one, says Porter Campbell. If so, how do you like it? I do have a pair of three. I like them. I carry it. I carry the lightweight. Uh, let me see if it's over here. Hold on. Moved a couple things around here in the last week. But yeah, I do have my pair of three right here. This is my pair of three that I carry. I got the titanium anodized um, hardware for it. It's in the CTS BD-1N. Here's what the thug looks like compared to that. Let's see. Nick says that's awesome. Getting the ever so awesome personal Zach stuff name out there. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And you know what? Um, you know, I was, I was hanging out with some friends last night. Um, kind of a housewarming birthday party for a friend. And, you know, I uh, I gave a few of the patches out. The DSKFS. People that are in the, you know, the knife community with us. The EDC community. And uh, already got a, already got a photo back of somebody that was uh, displaying their DSKFS patch. And I'm like, that is so awesome. So, uh, Rodney says the clip's about the same on the upshot. Doesn't interfere with the grip. Okay, yeah. And it, that's the thing. Like, it didn't hit me super hard. But I noticed it when I was handling the knife around and around. So, <laughs> okay. Let's see here. What will the larger version be called? I don't know. <laughs> That's a good question. Um, let's see here. Yeah, Tariq gave in. He was watching the women's golf, man. He was trying to stay awake. So I appreciate it. I super appreciate you guys, especially with those, you know, in different countries, different time, time zones. It's different for everybody. So, all right, Ethan, take care, buddy. I know you're getting ready to ship out, literally. So I appreciate that. Did I miss a joke? I see. Let's see here. Oh, big red through the length for the pair of three. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Grateful Panic says, we thug, you thug, everybody thug. Hashtag thug life. That's pretty good. I should get a little hashtag going when I'm doing the uh, review on this, posting some pictures. But overall... I think it's it's a nice knife. It's well built. It's good design. Um, the only thing I can see just from opening it up out of the pocket is that pocket clip. So we'll see how it goes. We'll check it out. But seriously, though, I like it. It's a pretty cool knife. So now let's see what else we got here. <laughs> Maybe it's the thug in me. Tell me, who do you love? Don C. Joe Solomon. Do you know, Joe Solomon says, hey man, do you know when that new sunburst scaled bug out is coming out from Benchmade? Yes, it was supposed to be June 1st, and now it's September 1st. <laughs> oh, don't get me started. I was so ready too, you guys. I was so ready. I was like, ah, here we go. And then like the day before my live stream, they're like, ooh, by the way, uh, it's been delayed until September 1st release. So Joe, it's out there. Some places you can pre-order it. See, D2, it's, they waited to drop it on his birthday. So that's perfect. Grateful Panic's doing a little, little bit of buffer, and he says, Going to be your first bug out? Well, it's a fantastic bug out. Um, I've been, I've carried it already. I've got the unboxing filmed. I'm very, very impressed with it. What's up, CK? Welcome, welcome. Smash that like button. Heck yeah. Oh, yeah, Big Red. It's, it's right up your alley, buddy. It is right up your alley. 
So I'll have to get this one over to you, Big Red, so you can check it out since we got a couple months before it's released. <laughs> that way you can at least get your uh, opinion on it, but you'll probably just want it that much better. So no buffering, says Andrew. Okay, cool. I just want to double check because I went through and made sure like, you know, kind of restarted everything, make sure things were good. It's kind of my normal like pre-show, I guess, checklist. <laughs> Dropping on his birthday. That's so awesome. Now, we have a couple other knives that came in uh, from a knife manufacturer. They sent out some knives for review. We're going to check those out in a second, but I want to show you a really cool one. And it's, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Mora knives. With Mora. Mora's pretty cool stuff. And yeah, exactly. The pre show checklist. It's like, do I have my water? Check. I already drank a little bit of coffee this morning, so that was done. Um, let's see here. But yeah, Mora's got some cool stuff, man. And. Okay, cool. Thanks, Jason. Mora came out with the 2000. And the 2000 was actually, I think their first production model of the 2000 was actually in 1991. So they came out with the Mora 2000 in 1991. They have a couple different styles. This one's the Mora S. And it's actually basically a 130 year anniversary or celebrating their 130 year anniversary. And then overall celebrating the, the model 2000. So yeah, it's got a cool box. Um, and let's take a look at the knife. And I have to say, yeah, there's a link to it right there. The Mora 2000 S and the S is important because that signifies the, uh, the one that we have here, which is kind of all black. And it's one of those things where it's like, what's up, Winchester? Welcome, welcome. Crispy EDC, both members of Zach's Daily Carrier Crew, thanks for being here. Yeah, everybody needs a Mora for sure. So that link right there is going to take you to a company out of um, the state of Washington. And they are actually selling these right now. And this is a leather strap that you can use so many different ways. You can put your belt through it if you want right through here. You can do it through here, whichever is most, most comfortable for you. But what's up, Dono? What's going on, buddy? The cool part about this one is, let me see if I can pull it out without getting too crazy. It's black. This sheath is kind of that plastic. It's got a couple holes in the bottom. So you can, you know, put it away wet, use it hard. We got some fingerprints on here. Hold on. It's from some good use last night. but we got that beautiful steel on here, that Swedish steel. Oh, we really got some marks on there last night. I think we were uh, using, <laughs> using the knife for, for stuff we shouldn't have been. No, I'm just kidding. So anyway, so we got most of the marks off there, but this knife is gorgeous, you guys. This is a knife that um, they've done a really, really cool, you can see my patch wall up there. But it's got all sorts of cool stuff on it. Sorry, you're getting the reflection of my patch wall there. But it's a Mora 2000. It's got the 1991 to 2021 on there. Made in Sweden. It's a really cool knife, you guys. You know, I have a large glove size hand. The swell in there fits great. It's super lightweight. Um, and I think this one overall runs uh, $50. What's up, Northwoods Knife Guy? So, yeah, Swedish. Swedish, Swedish. So, a really cool knife. And the thing to watch for is my review on this one. It's going to be a combo review. I'm going to do an unboxing. And I'm also going to be doing a uh, use video of this one. So, a field use and unboxing of this one. And you'll also see in that video when it posts, because I'm doing the filming this week. So, I'll try to have it out by like next weekend. And one of the things is to basically go through and do a giveaway. So you'll see a giveaway um, as well with one of these. 
And uh, that's the one I'm doing, kind of a collaboration with another awesome Instagrammer who's uh, pretty well focused in outdoor stuff. So it's one of those that, you know, you got you to gotta love your tools. You got to have fun with it. So this will be a really fun video to make and it'll be good to go. So show us the patch wall. Yeah, it's like halfway covered right now. All, here's what I'll do. When I'm done filming today, I will put a picture of it up on the uh, community tab here. So, because I'd have to take all my tripod stuff apart. Yeah, so this one's actually made, it's a Scandi grind, and they put a different edge on there um, near the front, so you can get a lot of sharpening out of it. But yeah, bushcraft, outdoor, knife, 100%. Made made to do some serious work. So the only the only thing that I heard was is they kind of round the spines on these a little bit. So right after I do the unboxing, I don't know if we're gonna do it beforehand or not, but we're gonna basically get that uh, spine to a ninety degree. So it'll be a lot easier to use for bushcrafting stuff. So yeah, so that'll be a fun video. It'll be a really good good video to put out. Plus it's a giveaway. It's awesome. Yeah, and that's the thing, like $50 for that with the sheath, everything, it's pretty good. Um, I went on to that website that Big Red linked earlier and looked at some knives that were on there. And, you know, the knife prices range from like $9.99, so 10 bucks up to like, you know, 50 or 60 And you can even, for like 50 or 60 you can get a full kit. You know, come with the sheath, a uh, ferro rod, um, even a little sharpening stone, so... Or sharpening rod so it's kind of cool but yeah uh daniel we'll definitely do international on it it's something that can go pretty much anywhere it's a nice tool so yeah so this is a thug right here winchester yeah exactly. you got 1.5 thugs in the lab oh man it's getting deep it's getting deep <laughs> what's up rolling ron happy sunday yeah, exactly. Hey, what's up, Didier? Welcome, Didier. Another member of Zach's Day, the Carry Crew. Thanks for being here. Monster Racing 38 says, years ago, I had one of the $15 ones. It was indestructible. I, I agree. You know, any blade show that you go to, anything like that, they usually have more knives there. Uh, pick one up, you know, put it in your hand. This one's a really good size overall, you know, and can do a lot of stuff. But they make shorter ones, you know, with this kind of blade size as well. So if you need something little, if you need something bigger, they make some fillet knives, some other stuff for fishing and whatnot. So they do a lot of good stuff with that. So I'm kind of getting into some of that stuff, but for the price, you can't beat it. What's up, Nav Sergeant? What's going down, buddy? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, Nibby Cloud, smash that like button. Heck yeah. Having some fun today. Happy Sunday. Happy Blade Show. I know it's very sad you're wrapping up Blade Show. Um, but we're going to show a couple more knives here. Yeah, exactly. $7. Can't beat that. No way, Don. Daniel, what's happening? Oh, the Garberg and the Bushcraft Black have a 90 degree spine already. Oh, okay, that's cool. I'm glad that they have some that already have the 90 degree spine. Yeah. Yeah. On this anniversary one, they didn't do that. It was a rounded spine, but I mean, it, it'll still work, but not as good as 90 degrees. So just a quick little grind. It'll get that one shaped back up. What's up, Corbin Stewart? So does the cans bowl. Cans bowl. Cans bowl. Okay. Nice. And the Light My Fire series. Yeah, I would hope the one that's uh, made for lighting fires would already be 90 degrees. That's good. Nick says he just filed down his three EDC top knives or a portion of the spine to strike the ferro rod. And yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. What's up, MHX? What's going down? Another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Thanks for being here. Thanks for your support. We have a couple other cool knives that came in, you guys. I'm excited to show these to you. It's from our friends at Concept. 
So let's put the more over here. Let's flip it over. We'll put it over here. But this one, anybody have a guess what this one is? We'll just take a guess. We'll take a couple guesses. Just using Adamas. He could. He definitely could. It's not a fixed blade, but they do make a fixed blade Adamas. Man, the, the box fits on there so tight. That's like a workout in itself. We got Convict, Main Street. Concept, duh. <laughs> Cryo. Comes with all the paperwork. Cleaning cloth. Some poison for the trolls. Shout out to Flossie. If you're into Flossie, he's been selling some stuff lately, so just never know. Yeah, the tolerances are tight. <laughs> Rising grind with Duke. Too funny. Okay, this one is the Bevy. And this one's a small little knife. Some black G10 on there. It's a little slip joint. Has that full length fuller. I don't think there's a half stop though. Well, kind of. Kind of a half stop. Nothing super defined, but a lot of oil on there. Hold on. Keep those towels at the ready. <laughs> oh, that was a funny comment. Do, do, do. What do you guys think of this little guy? 154 cm. Small traditional. It's about three finger for me. Yeah, the blade shape's very, 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 very nice. The bevy. Yeah, and there's a link right there for it. Thanks, Big Red, for doing that. Oh, Winchester says they had uh, fat carbon versions. Okay, okay, nice. I like what Concept's doing. I agree. So, I mean, if this one was a little bit bigger, I think, you know, you could, for me, I would carry it every day. But I think this is one that you can definitely, I mean... The G10 is nice. It's got a really small amount of texture to it. And I actually like that with some of the G10 on these smaller knives. A little bit of texture is nice. But not a real super defined half stop. But that's cool. I dig that. <laughs> All right, Nebu Cloud. Sounds good, buddy. <laughs> The Pokemon going. Yeah, so I like the bevy. It's it's very cool. It's definitely one that you can carry in your pocket for sure. Or any of these awesome, of course, people that make the pouches and all the EDC gear. What's up, C. Lemansky? Welcome, welcome. There's a link right there, the concept bevy. Putting all the Blade HQ links because... Right now, the concept page doesn't have the links on there for the new knives. These are all the new ones coming out this year. So just, you know, shout out and appreciation to concept for sending these knives out to be looked at. It's pretty awesome stuff. So, oh, over the Micarta. Okay, okay. I get what you're saying. So now we have another one from concept. Let me see which is which. I think we're gonna show this one right here. What's up, Click? Yeah, Click, I saw that. It looks super nice. I think they had a super nice price tag on them too. <laughs> oh, a little glow in the dark stuff. Yeah, you get your microfiber, your paperwork in here as well, of course. Yeah, that DECA, carbon fiber. All sorts of good stuff. Some more poison for the trolls. I know the suspense is probably getting to you guys. This one is called the Wedge. Not to be confused with pillow type products. This one is a tool. Similar in size to the Bevy, but this one's a lockback.
Prayers to Jason. Did I miss that one? Oh, man. Well, hopefully yours is just stress, buddy. Yeah, we'll say some prayers for you for sure. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, Jason. Now, this one's the wedge. They do have a bevy of options. So, kind of similar in design, but just a lockback version. You know what I mean? So, for me, I don't know if that's going to put it out of the market for some of you over in Europe, but... What's up, Snomnium? Yeah, Nick Swan design. Yeah, for sure. I like this. I do like the locking feature. Only because now I, I don't have too much of a problem putting a little more thumb on there and using this one a little harder. For sure, one minute. Yes. What's up, Kloss? Oh, it's legal there? Okay. That's awesome. Well, that's good to hear. Take a drink of water there. Keep it fresh. Okay, well, that's good. I'm glad it's legal there for that. We're still trying to get Grateful Panic to 700 subs. He's at like 690 and change so if you guys haven't signed up follow grateful panic knife reviews head on over check him out i still have to leave a comment on that video very awesome video your recent one very honored my friend thank you to the community wonderful people on that list <laughs> don't push me because i'm close to the edge <laughs> Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, we have one more that got sent in from Concept. And, of course, this one, to me, I'm excited for this one. It's like a jungle sometimes. <laughs> oh, man, I can't wait. Here we go. We're going to get some good lyrics going, too. We didn't forget the poison for the trolls. That's awesome. This one. One of you guys mentioned it earlier, the Underground EDC. What is up? Thanks for being here. Now, this one's kind of cool and exciting to me. This is the Convict. Now, it's got, oh, hold on. The lock was on. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so that's, uh, what's up, Louie? How's it going, buddy? Thanks for being here. So this is a titanium, a black titanium handle. It is a frame lock. It's the Convict. Comes with plenty of knife lube on it. Just trying to get all that off real quick. One-sided, kind of a thumb ledge. Guess you could call it a thumb stud. But... Super smooth. Super duper smooth. So for me, using thumb studs, I got to get used to this one. So I have to basically put a little more pressure on the bottom and flip it up that way instead of here. But you can slow roll it, I guess, if you want. But for here, for me, it works best. Thumb nub. That's a good one, Rising Grind. I like that. That's a thumb nub. Thumb nub, thumb wedge, thumb shelf. <laughs> this is fun. We can we can have all sorts of names for this one. But yeah, feels really good. It's a very smooth finish to everything. Has a little bit of that thumb ramp on the clip again, but uh, you might be able to swap it. I'd have to see. It's it's kind of a flush mount screw on this one or a torque screw. So I'd have to see. I don't know if there's... I would imagine there's some sort of lip on this side, but no. Hey, what's up, John West? Lacey Marie, how's it going? John, one of our uh, Zach's Daily Carry Crew members. Thanks for being here. Oh, you can't swap it. It's an insert. Okay. 
Yeah, I haven't taken this one apart, but looks like it's got plenty of lube, so I guess you won't have to worry about it, but yeah, the pocket clip's the same way. It's right-handed tip-up carry only, so yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's putting your thumb on a pedestal, <laughs> and the problem I have with some of these frame locks, and this is just me, I, I put my fingers right down through here, and it pushes down on that frame lock. So um, I like the fact the clip, if I can, you know, train myself to rest it on the clip, then it comes out okay. Uh, if I push down too hard, then obviously it pushes down and the frame lock holds it in. But overall, kind of a cool big sheep's foot design. Those are three new knives sent in from Concept to check out. So we're going to give those a carry and a review and see how they go. <laughs> oh man the jokes are solid today the jokes are solid <laughs> uh the two small ones in the middle we have the bevy and the wedge and these are both from concept so the one with black g10 is the bevy and then similar sized one in design as well the top one is the wedge and it has the lock back and this one's just a slip joint so great designs to each his own, whichever style, you know, fits you best. But I like that. So it's pretty cool. So those are some knives that came in this week. We'll be checking those out, going through those as well. <laughs> KJ, you put the thug on the wedge with the convict, convict behind all inside the bevy. <laughs> Oh, man, Big Red's killing it with the links. Shout out to Big Red. Thank you so much, my friend. Oh, you're helping the kids with the schoolwork. Oh, wow. Two weeks, they got all the final exams. Wow. Time's flying. Time is flying. Thank you, Big Red, for all those. Yeah, I saw a post from uh, Slicey Dicey's wife about him doing his uh, stand-up this weekend. So that was kind of cool to see him up on stage. So hopefully they film some of it, put it up there for us. But I'm excited to see him in person when he does the uh, shows at Blade Show West. So that'll be a fun one if you guys are going as well. I'm super, super excited to see all the cool... I mean, the stuff following everything this weekend was terrific. People were posting stuff. So that's a good sign. I, I heard there were some problems with Wi-Fi down there. But it seemed like a lot of people had signal, so it was good. Good, good to see. I like that. So what is everybody carrying today on this beautiful Sunday? Let's do some pocket checks. Do some pocket checks. Oh, you guys were there for the first show? Nice, Nick. Limited edition Shuragov F95 Icebreaker for CPM. What's up, CPM? Hogue Knives, ex 4 Warncliffe, and Blue G Maskets and a Finch 1929. Man, that was nice, John. Chavez Street Tonto for Jack. Para 3 Lightweight and M390 for Dane. Spyderco Endura for Ryan. Got your new Tigress for KJ. The Blue Ness. The Boker Karakurt. Nice, Randy. What's up, Randy? Oh, man. Oh, really? It is eggs? Oh, man, that's no good. It's a death trap for uh, cell service. Well, they better fix that. Uh, Anton Tony's got the bug out. Klaus has the Buck 110. Iosha. Dan Brock's got the GEC Bullnose number 71 Green Micarta. ZT Titanium Hinder for Form D. Damn Designs Invictus for Big Red. <laughs> Michael says they're temporarily discontinuing the thug and convict while they do a dime upstate. <laughs> That's perfect. TRM Adam for Didier. Nice. Mini Osborne for Andrew. Right on. My new custom Crooked River. You're so happy with it. That's cool, Northwoods. Right on. You'll have to tell us what you got on it. Um, Andrew Halbert's got the 940 Blade HQ exclusive with M4 and JG10. A fantastic one. Demco 8020.5. Rodney's picking up the new one. I like that. 
Uh, grab the ZT0560 after commenting on it and the SOG Ultra XR. Emma's got the bug out. CK, of course, has the full size Adamus and Mini Osborne. Condor Cavalor for Don C. Micro Ebor for Louie. Um, yeah, exactly, Somnio. The Crawler, nice. Benchmade Grizzly Ridge for Paul. Uncle Cow's got the Boker Patriot. Tucson Barracuda for John R. iPhone 12 Pro in my left hand. iPhone XS or 10S in my right hand. Catching them rare Pokemon. You're going after it, Nebucloud. Nice. Shirogov F3 NS in purple for Kark. What's up, Kark? Dark Gravity's got the American Blade Works Model 1 Version 6 in Marble Carbon Fiber. I hear that Version 6 is nice. I've checked out a couple of the versions, so that's pretty cool. Savivi Riffle and Rough Rider Stroke of Luck Canoe for Jared White. That's pretty awesome. Medford Midi for the Underground EDC. Some solid knives there from Medford. New Benchmade 940 and Victorinox Solo for Michael Morgan. Grateful Panic Knife Reviews has the OG Pilar and Carbonized Micarta Scale and a Field Trekker. Nice. Got the Kabara Torino K Bar LDK and a First Gen Leather. Nice Rising Grind. Spider Co. Little Native Recent Sprint for Andrew O'Laughlin. Kaiser Aileron or Aileon, sorry. I get it mixed up with the Benchmade Aileron. Kaiser Aileon and a Victorinox Tinker for Monster. Top Dog, 8762. Same as yesterday, the QSP Gannett Front Flipper. The Lawn Rangers got the Super Blue Stretch. Very nice. Kaiser Harpoon, Finch, Runtley, and Jade. And my Blade HQ Jimbo 2 and M4 for Nick Martino. Nice. Uh, Custom Shop, Crook and River, S90V, Carbon Fiber Scales, Blue Pivot Collar, and a Backspacer. Blacked Out Hardware and a Case Trapper. Nice, D2. Got the smock for MHX. Nice. Very, very cool. NAF Sergeant's got the Hawk Deadlock. That one looks like a fun one. Uh, Kershaw Fraction for Pro X1840. TS301 and a Finch Holiday for Eggs and Ham. Yeah, exactly, KJ. Uh, only a flashlight so far for Winchester. Oh, you're helping out an electrician. That was nice of you. Napster Ninja, what's happening? We got the PM2 Tonto and a Husky Utility Knife. I found the Utility Knife in a box while cleaning. And now Pocket to Garage Can. Uh, B for Baron, what's happening? We got the ZT0350, Spyderco Canis for Paper Tiger. Got an Olight uh, for Winchester, that's what he's carrying. Artisan Cutlery Centauri, full size and carbon fiber Damascus for William Lenderman, that's a good one. Marco Polo, got the Super Freak. KJ, that's too funny. Uh, CMB01 for Matt Strader. Tail of Knives Leather Clip with OD Green, Olight i 3 teos Camo PM2, and a Machine Era Markup Brass Pen. That's a solid carry, Jason. 20 CV Capara for Manny, nice. Um, yeah, exactly, KJ. Yeah, it's like, where are we having it? What are we doing? Oh, okay. Uh, Blade Show Heretic Cleric and a Benchmade Osborne Auto for Leo Carpenter. Ba -ba -da. Formax, Leatherman Surge, and Gerber Dime for Todd. The Knife Nut, what's happening? Welcome, welcome. Doom, doom, doom. Don C says, I still flip my snapback backwards when I get serious. <laughs> oh, Grateful Panic. That's too funny. Uh, Knife Nuts carrying his Holt Haptic and Spider Co. Shaman. Rodney, very impressed with the American Blade Works knives. Great people, also. That's good to hear. Uh, Northwoods Knife Guy says, I ordered it with the M4 coated blade, wood handles, brass pivot collar. I copied Hitch and Timbers Crooked River, but I couldn't help it. Just beautiful. Hey, that's a solid knife. I love that one. Yeah, he shows it off all the time. I love it. Um, ba -ba Just going through the comments, making sure I got them all. Got the emails. Lacey Marie's carrying the pink native and a mermaid scaled Yobo 2. 
or maybe Yojo, Yojimbo. Very, very awesome. Marcos Gama's got two blue Protex, the Malibu and the Sprint. Man, I want to, that's one of the ones I want to try. I want to try out a Malibu, a Protec Malibu. I want to try out a TRM Shadow. And I, I'm trying to save for the Gentleman Jack from, from Medford, but I will I mean, you can't try one of those. You just have to buy one, I think, eventually. Maybe I'll get one of Blade Show West. <laughs> That's too funny. What's up, Ethan Ruins EDC? Welcome back. Carrying the Hinder XM18 3.5 Sponto. Oh, you gave up much food for them? I bet. I bet. That's cool, though. So Nick Martino says, Zach, if you could pair up any knife designer with Benchmade and make a knife that Benchmade has never worked with before, who would you pair? Oh, my goodness. I mean, I know right now the one that I really want them to do, but it's with somebody that they've already worked with, but it's a brand new design. I know that's not answering your question directly. So let me just put this one out there. Um, Shane Seibert needs to put his Centron to Benchmade, the flipper version, and put that baby into production. That would be sweet. Um, but a knife designer that they haven't ever worked with before, somebody local that I really love is Sean. Um, Triple B Handmade, Big Brown Bear. He does amazing work. What's up, Blade Edge? Welcome, welcome. And I have to say... You know, having his fixed blade style into production would be fantastic to work with Benchmade. Um, you know, it'd be really cool, too, to see. Yeah, I mean, so you guys are saying, like, Vox or Sinkovich. Those guys are all great. Um, huh, Medford. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if they'd talk. They might. Um, but I think, honestly, like, some people like that would be pretty cool. Yeah, he does. He does, Louie. He has a production knife coming out with Spyderco. And so, that I mean, that would be one of the... I know his passion and his love falls in line big time with, with Sal and people at Spyderco and stuff. What's up, Tom? Welcome. What's up, Cole? And But I think, honestly, just because I'm you know i friend with Sean and it would be cool to see him, one of his knives go into production and... You know, I'm going to probably buy a few of the ones from Spyderco. So, has there ever been a Hinder or Benchmade design? Not that I know of. No. Oh, Bastion from Bastinelli Knives. Yeah, that could be a good one too. But hopefully that answered it for you, Nick. Um, you know, and that's one of those things is I really look at the custom knives. Um... You know, like like Ryan Pearson. You could get some of his knives and get them into Benchmade to get a production version. That'd be sweet, you know. Um, I know a lot of their fixed blades they have. It's internal designs. And, you know, unless you're doing like, you know, the 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 fixed Adamas or things like that, that, you know, that Shane does. But he does like the custom level stuff. So, yeah, so it's good. What's up, Mark Grant? What's up? Welcome, welcome. Andrew Laughlin says, how about a Demko Sinkovich collaboration in M4? Yeah, that'd be pretty cool, man. We could make some awesome like guesses or or put some awesome combinations together and be like, hey, let's do this. You know? Um, but yeah, that's where a lot of the stuff has come from. You know, you've seen Doug Ritter's knives, kind of that what that's gone through, and then he's gone over to Hogue with some stuff. But I look at some of the really cool custom knives and I'm like how can you take that custom and put it into a production model? You know, and that's kind of what they did with some of Shane Seibert's knives. And I really wish they'd do that with the Centron because Centron is going to run you like two grand, you know, to get a, a nice one. And an entry level one is going to be like 1400. So if you could do like a, you know, a titanium version for four or 500 bucks or something. Yeah, buddy. Oh, you're sharpening your RSK right now. Nice. That's cool. You got a hole in the skiff. Nice. The new Wingman EDC GTC collab looks cool. It has the same issues as the other Wingman knives. Too small. Ah, oh, that's a bummer. 
Yeah, I don't, and, and that's the thing. Like, I really, I really like some of the the knife companies that send knives out and are like, "Hey, it's a prototype. Send it around to a whole bunch of people. Check it out. Those kind of things." And you know, then people are like, "Oh, hey, here's a couple things I found. Like, you know, this pocket clip or something sticks up quite a bit. You know, maybe round that out, flatten it out. You know, and then you know, you have an uh, even much more amazing knife. So that's just me. That's just me. My thoughts on it. Uh, Hogue had a new auto knife. Oh yeah, I saw that one. That tan one. It looked like a tan, like uh, auto able lock, ambidextrous bar lock enhanced. Access lock, basically. Yeah, that thug's pretty cool. Um, let's see. Northwoods knife guy says I was able to score a Demco eighty twenty point five on Rivers Edge Cutlery yesterday. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Big Red's putting in the links for Shane Seibert knives. If you want to go look at some beauty right there, you can check out his Instagram. Uh, Louis says, have you gotten a chance to check out the new Hogue Deca? I have not. No, not yet. I have not. But I'll, I'll probably check one out soon. Any videos from Blade, please? <laughs> yeah, definitely that's one of those things. So hopefully we see some stuff. Oh, Blade HQ's dropping them tomorrow. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, Knife Sergeant. There's a new Hogue Deca that they put out for Blade Show. It was carbon fiber scales. I think still a 20 CV blade. And then they had like a glow-in-the-dark uh, access bar. So that's pretty cool. They did an orange or a green, I think, or yellow. And, of course, they had the, like, the blue anodized hardware. So it looks pretty sick. I'm hoping they put that into production. That'd be kind of cool. But they also came in at a $300 bill for that one. So I think Spyderco will release a compression lock native five. I don't know. I'm not sure on Spyderco's mission, unless it's an exclusive. Yeah, that's cool. That's super cool. I like that one. Uh, Randy F says the Boker care cut is an automatic knife made by Hogue and Vox design. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> That's a hard part. You know, like a lot of companies, you know, they're three, four months behind for the year. Um, yeah, I like that D2. Exactly. But yeah, flat dark earth shaman. That was cool. Like if you found the uh, if you found the avocado guy walking around, you just said holy guacamole, and they give you a little token. And you can go back and buy buy one of those shamans from their booth. So that's pretty cool. Oh, okay, that's cool. Click. Yeah, I hope they put that into production. That'd be nice. They put that carbon fiber one back into production and really share us uh, or show with us or share with us all the. Uh, the cool stuff, but it'll probably be a few months once they go into production with it. And don't forget, I'll be putting that into, I'll be putting the patch wall on my community tab as soon as we're done. Yeah, I think, I think if they work on the price a little bit, you know, I don't know how much they're paying the glow in the dark people, but you know, if they worked on the price, then maybe you could drop it a little bit, but carbon fiber, 20 CV, glow in the dark stuff it's probably expensive in all reality you know because you got to mill it you got to you got to seat that little glow in the dark tube in there uh they didn't say andrew i'm not sure i know they're giving one away over on their youtube channel right now so if you go to over to youtube and go over to river's edge cutlery they just posted their giveaway video i think this morning so this chunky tonto right here is the wee thug it's a, it's a pretty sweet knife just from having it out. Uh, no, it's an actual, like, um, I can't remember the name of the company, but it's an actual glow in the dark, um, tritium. So it's a, like a tritium tube that's inserted. So if you have, let's say I don't have a, I don't have a deck in here, but so right here, basically they have a tube inserted into the access bar that goes all the way through to both sides. It doesn't glow on the top, obviously, but just in the middle. 
Um, it has its glow in the dark feature. So it's kind of cool. You can see it a little bit during the daylight. And then of course at night it's charged up by light. So the operators use it. It's operator stuff. Yeah, it's cool stuff. So we'll see how it turns out. It looks pretty good. So yeah, um, let's see here. So we 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 looked at everything that everybody's carrying today. We talked about that stuff in your watches. Yeah. Tritium is radioactive, not charged. There you go. Don't chew on it. I'm just kidding. Whoa, really? Somebody stole the baby banter from the Civivi booth. Or the Wee Knife booth. That sucks, man. I saw I saw a post that said somebody stole some custom as well. So they were they were posting around. What's up, G man? That's kind of crazy, man. That people steal stuff. I mean, it's gonna happen, but oh, the Borka. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and that's the. Th I don't get it. I mean, I know there's bad people amongst us, but that just sucks, man. That people do that. Just sucks. I mean, what are you going to do? Sell it online? People are going to look for it. People know where it's at, you know? So, yeah, they are easy to steal. Oh, there you go. So, <laughs> you pay extra money. Big Red says that tritium is very radioactive, very dangerous in gas form. So they basically like bottle it up, put it in your pocket and let you carry it around all day. Don't drop your knife. Don't inhale. Yep, so true, one minute, so true. Wow. Dude, we getting some dropping some knowledge today from Big Red and so many of you. We got the jokes coming in today. Uh it should. It should. Um, we have this mini Adamus. It's out there. It should be hitting dealers. I don't know. That's the thing. Like it's been and been available online and stuff for a while. So, what's up, Jimmy Jocelyn? How's it going? So, hopefully, you get to see this one soon in your dealers. Um, if not, they have them um, a Benchmade site for sure. I'm kind of, so I'm kind of hoping this in the next like month and yeah, exactly. Leo. Yeah. They're not part of the community, but they are amongst us, you know, just like the people that go in to just, you know, flip a bunch of knives, get there early, flip a bunch, you know, for triple the cost, whatever. Um, but that's one of those things, you know, it's like, I really hope to see the Benchmade pens come out. Oh, they busted the guy. Oh, nice, Louie. That's great to hear. I'm glad. Uh, second knife from the bottom. This one right here, the Wee Thug. Is that what you're looking at? Jay Noor, what's happening? The Wee Thug. It's a sweet knife. I really like it so far. I opened it up yesterday when it once it came in, just looked at it, and then put it back in the box and I'm like, oh, I'm going to wait to get more of an impression today when I handle it. And we'll do it. We'll do a little unboxing and review on it. I'm going to carry it for the week and see how it goes. Cut with it. Like you stole it. Heck yeah. I'm really excited again though, for this one. This is that, that Mora anniversary one. And you know, I'm going to be doing an unboxing and field testing with it. The field testing, um, I'm teaming up with my buddy, um, who's an outdoor enthusiast has his own Instagram and YouTube and, uh, it'll be fun. He's going to really put it to work and do a much, much better job at showing you how to do it right outdoors <laughs> than I would. I, I could get through it, but he's a professional. So I teamed up with him. He's local to me. He's a good, good guy. And, uh, he's going to host the giveaway. So I'm going to put some stuff with it, but he's going to host the giveaway and it'll be great. So Okay, so let's go ahead and get ready for, let's do a giveaway today, you know? I appreciate you guys. I appreciate all the Zach's Daily Carry Crew being here and supporting. 
I also appreciate those of you who donated today. Got the donation train going. That was terrific. In addition to that, uh, that goes to support these giveaways. So we're, we're ramping up for our 10K. Um, got a few people that are like, hey, as soon as we get back from Blade Show, we're going to be sending you some stuff. So we'll be getting some more stuff in. I'll share that. And then we'll do it. We'll do a fun giveaway for the 10K. And also, I know I mentioned it before, but we're going to do a giveaway on my Instagram as well. So um, if you want, check that out. It's in the description below. Thank you guys. I appreciate you guys being here. Oh, Big Red. Too kind, my friend. Too kind. 10 for 10K. Let's show Big Red some love, you guys. Thank you, Big Red. Oh, Blade Edge. Thanks, buddy. Show Blade Edge some love. Thank you both so much. That is awesome. It's super helpful. Um, let's get into the, today's giveaway. Now, I did come across some fun stuff that I put into the swag pack. We've got a big swag pack going on here. Had to use one of the bigger bags. So we're going to have a pocket pen uh, in blue. We're going to have some Zach stuff swag. Some DSKFS holographic sticker swag. And of course, our friends. Oh, D2. Thanks, buddy. Our friends at Southern Edge Knife Works give you 15% off if you use the code Zach15, Zach15, plus $5 flat rate shipping. Show some love for D2. Thank you so much. That is super helpful. Thank you, guys. What's up, Rip CDDC? How's it going? How's it going? Happy Sunday. Um, in addition to that, we got some little Fit Devil swag. We'll put that out there. It looks like she was there for uh, Saturday at Blade Show. Made the long drive. Got a little Sharper Things from Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Now, I found some cool Benchmade swag. I don't know if you guys like Benchmade. But I found a cool few stickers from Benchmade here. We're also going to throw in some of the, the knife swabs from Knife Pivot Lube. Microfiber, reusable, all that good stuff. Oh, Nick, thank you, my friend. Thanks, Big Red, for the links, too. You know, I Big Red and I really try to do that every week just to give back. Um, so thank you guys for the support. It helps. It truly does. Uh, some more Zach stuff swag. And of course, you can't go without a Velcro DSKFS patch. You got to have those in my, my swag packs. Some more DSKFS swag. A little swag from Mark's gear. Of course, Big Red EDC in the house. We got to show some love with Big Red EDC swag. And this is a Benchmade Knife Company keychain. It's kind of made of like a PVC material. Now, this is a factory store exclusive. So you can only get this at the factory store. Oh, Grateful Panic. Thanks, my friend. <laughs> I got five on it. Uh, you probably don't want to hear me sing the rest of that. Let's show some love for Grateful Panic. Thank you so much, buddy. Yeah, the keychain's pretty sweet. So got got some found some swag from the old bench made. May have had some help. But, yeah, pretty cool stuff. So I was like, man, we got some cool swag. We got some cool stuff going on. On top of that, what else can we do? And, of course, you guys know me. We're going to throw something in there. Let me open up the box real quick behind camera. Because open it up <laughs> on camera can always be more fun. Uh, this is one of the knives I was telling you I want to give away a couple weeks ago. Uh, but this is one of my, my favorite knives. It's so functional as a slip joint, as a pocket knife. But it's the Civivi Fracture. You guys, my favorite color, the blue G10. It's got that deep pocket carry clip. It's got a lanyard hole for lanyard fans. You guys can rejoice. It's got that half stop, draw point, stone wash blade. Just gorgeous, you guys. Full size slip joint. This knife is really, really cool. So for what it's what it's at, you can't go wrong with it. So that's that's what we're doing today. This is the swag pack and the giveaway for today. 
And the question is, um, let's see. <laughs> the box looks small. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, man. So we're going to go ahead and do uh, kind of standard rules as usual. And uh, I'm glad you guys like it. Um, happy to keep giving stuff away. That's fantastic. We keep rolling with the channel. You know, we support each other. It's good stuff. So, <laughs> Rodney says, if I win, someone else gets the knife, but he gets all the swag. <laughs> what's up, Jada? Welcome, welcome. Scott Benefield, what's happening? Dirk, what's up, buddy? Thanks for being here. So, common rules as before. Don't guess yet, but closest without going over. We're going to do one guess, one guess only. My screen and my moderator screen will be where it's at. Um, I do have to ask, I don't know if Justin, OCD for EDC, I know you're going to the airport, you're probably going, getting patted down right now for all your fun titanium stuff, but um, I don't know if Justin's going live tonight, probably not because he's traveling, but Peter and Christine, Women Carry Knives, Therapeutic Edge, do you guys, are you guys going to be able to go live today? If so, let us know, we'll put the link down there to the channel, I think it's on, from what Peter was saying, it's on Christine's channel today if you do. Okay, so let me put, let me make sure it's off camera. Now I'm going to write some numbers down. I'm going to put a little point spread on the sheet. And then once we get a start from Big Red, then I will show it on the screen. But we'll have a number spread. You'll pick one number. You'll guess once, one time only. It'll be the closest without going over. If we have multiple people that guess the right one, or well, the same one that's closest, then we'll go to a round two. Okay. And there's a link right there for Women Carry Knives. Well, this will be a fun one. Uh, you're welcome, monster. There we go. We are rolling. Okay. So, we got it all written down. Let me make sure I got the number spread right. <laughs> got that number spread. I got to fold it up because, you know, papers don't want people to see the number, you know. Okay. So that's what we're doing right there. What's up, Chris Rayner? Thanks for being here, buddy. Hey, we're, you're just in time for the giveaway. We're about to do a giveaway. Big Red's going to put a start on the screen. And as soon as you see the start, I will give you the point spread or the number spread. It is between 1 and 250. So between 1 and 250. Guess once, once only, one number, and we'll see who gets closest without going over. My screen, moderator screen, will be the best. I'm not the best, but the decision maker. <laughs> All right, we're getting a good spread. Yeah, you're welcome, Mike. Your guess is 167. Nice, nice. Thanks for being here. Happy Sunday. Deadpool Lee, what's up? I Love Knives, what's happening? Mike K. <laughs> oh, dude, there's some awesome channel names in here. <clears throat> or some screen names. Knife Fan 86. Ed Creamer, Mad Hatter. Getting some good guesses going on. Slim Tissue, that's a good one. I like that. C. Lemansky, what's up? Mr. G and VT, Jason Cable. The numbers are between 1 and 250. So be between number 1 and number 250. Oh, Nick, I'm sorry. I forgot to tell you the number. <laughs> I'll have to tell you next week beforehand. Oh, wow. There you go, Jacob. Spins at 31. That's wild. Delilah Rose. Giovanni. Marcos. Let's see here. I'm going to go back and look through while you guys are wrapping up your guesses. Let's see if we have anyone that's close. Let's see if we have anyone that is 
really close. See if we have anyone that has guessed it right on. See if we have anyone who is over. I don't see. Okay, there's some good guesses out there. There's some good guesses. Yeah, hit that like button. Thanks again, you guys, for being here, for hanging out. We'll have some more fun videos posting this week. I have a lot of stuff saved up that is going to be posting. Also, watch those videos, you guys. You never know when I'll throw in a, a weird giveaway, a hidden giveaway. You never know. <laughs> My case is 20 off again. Oh, okay. Thanks one minute. <laughs> you changed it. You're like, ah, I changed my mind. It's pretty good. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll go thumbs up now. <clears throat> Using a Mora eating pepper steak right now. Oh, very nice. Yeah, you're welcome, Pro X. <laughs> you always go with one. Oh, misfits, huh? Huh? All right, well, it looks like we're pretty well wrapped up, so I will go ahead and let Big Red throw up some stop signs. Nick, edc -er, please guess one number between 1 and 250. Nick, edc -er, be the last vote in the game. There it is. We got the last few votes in, and the stop signs are up. Voting is closed. Okay, so it was between 1 and 250, and I had written down 70, 70. So we'll go back and look. I didn't see anybody that hit 70 right on. But I did see a 69 as the closest. So I, a lot of close ones. A lot of close ones. But. <laughs> oh, so many close ones. So I'll let Big Red take a look as well. We will check that out. And, you know, stay tuned. There might be more uh, Benchmade keychains coming up, more Benchmade swag. You never know. But, yeah, a couple close ones. Like Scott Benefield had 68. I had Jay Knorr with 69. So that's the ones that I had. I don't know if anybody else, uh, Big Red, if you saw anything different. I didn't see a 70. So Jay Knorr. Jay Noor, you win. Congratulations. Send me an email. Zach.edc at gmail.com. And uh, we'll get this stuff out to you. You know? That's pretty awesome. So, yeah, you guys. Uh, like I said, I appreciate you guys being here. Appreciate all the donations. All the people at Zach's Daily Carry Crew, thanks for being here. There's some more comment or some content coming out for you guys. In addition... I'll put up the uh, patch wall on the community tab here in a minute. Oh, Northwoods. Thanks, buddy. Show Northwoods some love. Thank you for the donation. That's very, very nice. And, yeah, you're welcome, Dan. And we'll go ahead. We'll uh, we'll wrap this up for today. Um, keep a lookout. You never know if... Uh, thanks, Ron. You never know if there's going to be uh, some more live streams today. I know Slicey Dicey's doing his Bruising and Blades. Uh, you'll... We'll probably hopefully maybe see something from uh, Peter and Christine, but if not, we'll look forward to some live streams tomorrow here in the community. And if those uh, titanium scales from Rogue Blade Works come in, I will do a, at a minimum, I will do a video for the Zack State of the Carry crew. And if I don't interfere with anybody else's live on Tuesday, I will do a live and show you guys there as well. So anyways, you guys have an awesome rest of your Sunday. Those of you who went to Blade Show, rock on. I'm so happy for you guys. You guys, make sure to do something kind for someone. Thanks again to Big Red EDC. Big Red, if you have your link to your channel, you can throw it up there, buddy. Uh, I should have mentioned this earlier. 
If you're not following Big Red, go check out Big Red ADC. He's coming up on 5,000. We want to get him to 5,000 subscribers, have a fun giveaway with him, and uh, never know. So anyways, you guys, have an awesome rest of your day. Make sure to do something kind for someone, but most importantly, take care.